Hello there, and welcome back to another Ben McGreevy Sports video. Today, uh, I am here with Cole. Hello, Cole. What's up? Glad Cole to be here. Is, yeah, he's ready to roll. We have Heath. Hey. And today, we are going to do a build your roster uh, with a certain amount of money. You probably have seen these all over social media, and then everyone fights in the comments. That's what we want to happen today. You want We want you to roast us like crazy in the comments of this video. Tell us how dumb we are. Tell us what you would do instead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw up what we're doing here on the screen in the player rankings. So we're drafting a center, a right wing, a left wing, a right defense, a left defense, and a goaltender. We have $15 to build these teams. The $5, uh, it starts, the first player I'm going to say is 5 The last player I'll say is $1. Uh, with centers, we have McDavid, McKinnon, Dreisaitl, Matthews, and Crosby. At right wing, we have Pasternak, Kucherov, Kachuk, Marner, and Rantanen. At left wing, you have Kaprizov, Panarin, Kachuk, Robertson, and Forsberg. At right defense, we have Makar, Fox, Carlson, McAvoy, and Hamilton. Left D, we have Haskinen, Hedman, Dahlin, Yossi, and Shabbat. And goaltenders, we have Sorokin, Vasilevsky, Saros, Markstrom, and Anderson. Uh, and that is where we are going to go. We have $15 to build a team. Boys, did you struggle? Before we get into it, we'll get into more of that later. Did you struggle with any of your picks on who you were taking for each one and kind of how it determined your team? Yeah, so I glanced at this while I was driving when you sent it earlier, and I was like, oh, this is a cakewalk. I'm going to have a good team, and I'm going to have enough money left over to buy a hot dog at the concession stands. So um, and then I sat down to actually prepare this and I spent every dime, but I feel good about my team. So I think that's what's most important. I, I struggled mostly with, I'd say I struggled mostly with my right D and my center were my two biggest hiccups. Interesting. Interesting. Heath, what about you? Did you pretty much know <clears throat> who you were taken or did you have a difficulty with it? I had a difficulty with the center. Um, the center was probably, you know, outside of the goalie was one of my more important pieces. So that was kind of, it was tough on which way I wanted to go. Right. Cause if you spend all your money in the center, then you're kind of, you kind of have to figure out a better way to do it with whatever you have left. So the center was the toughest one for me. And then having to piece together, you know, what do I have left and how much do I want to spend? Yep. And, and centers can make or break your team yeah. as well. So that's also, you know, like, like if you take McDavid at $5, you're so right. good at center. Yeah, but, but are you good somewhere else? Are you good everywhere else? So that's a really difficult thing. I'm interested to see the strategy you guys went with. You know, it, it would have been possible, technically, you could have taken, uh, you know, uh, a $5 player and a $4 player. And then done a bunch of one dollar players. I'm interested to see if he, any of us did that, um, just to have a kind of a dominant roster. All these players are good, but what we're gonna do is be sure to watch till the end of this video. You can so you can see our teams, and then in the comments, we want you to tell us who you think designed the best team. And we'll as we each draft our team, we'll throw that up on the screen so you can kind of keep track of where we are. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead. And start with Heath. Uh, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you start with who you took at your center position. Uh, who did you take there at center? So I took uh, Nathan McKinnon. Interesting. Tell why'd okay. you take? Why are you going with Mac? So you go with your four dollar player there. At I center. do. That's expensive. I, he is. <laughs> this is where I was. I, I like, you know, I didn't want to go the full $5. I think five, five bucks on Connor David's a little crazy. Uh, so I figured I can go, I could get away with $4 on, on McKinnon and still have good enough players to spend and have enough money to spend on the rest of the team for the line um, for what I want to do. But I like the way he plays. He obviously brings it. He, he brings a lot of things to the table for me. Um, he's not just, he, he's got speed, but he's also got that physical ability and he can shoot the puck very well. So that's kind of why I went with Nathan McKinnon. I mean, 
he kind of brings everything to the table, um, in my opinion, for what I was kind of looking for. Interesting. All right, Cole, who'd you go with at center? Yeah, so I went with Leon Dreisaitl. Interesting. Um, I thought it was a good bang for buck pick, only being the $3 amount. And he's so good. I mean, if him and Connor McDavid weren't on the same team, you would be talking about Leon Dreisaitl. Of course, he is a superstar in the league, but a lot of the time he is undershadowed by Connor McDavid. So I think that was a great pickup for the $3 mark. Yeah, I think that's a, that is a really good $3 player. You guys will be shocked by this, maybe. For me, my struggle here was between the two of the lower dollar guys, and I, which is ironic because Austin Matthews is now the highest paid player in the NHL. But right. to me, I went with Austin Matthews at that $2 slot. Here's why. Austin Matthews has one of the best shots in the league, but he also can make plays like crazy. You've seen Austin Matthews pass beautifully. He can shoot beautifully. And recently we've seen Austin Matthews become a defender as well. And so for me, I wanted to go with Austin Matthews there. And also what that does is it gives me flexibility. Cause like, I think McDavid, uh, uh, McKinnon and Dreisaitl are all probably a better option, but what going with Matthews did was leave me a little bit extra flexibility later on to kind of get the players that I really wanted to get. All right, let's let's move ahead. So so right now, Heath, you grabbed McKinnon, Cole, you grabbed Dreisaitl, I grabbed Austin Matthews. That's a four dollar, three dollar, two dollar organ order. I like there. that. That's that's very even. Heath, who are you going with at your right wing position? This is an interesting one. So this is where it real well, I say the center was hard, but this is where I had to start finagling numbers. Um, so I ended up going with Matthew Kachuk, which is still kind of expensive, but I went with Matthew Kachuk. I liked his track record better, better than Marner. I feel like he fit what I wanted to do a little bit better. Um I was torn between the two though, Marner and Kachuk. Um but I like his style of play a little bit better. Uh, and I think he can make the play a little bit better than Marner can. Pretty good. I mean, that's, that's pretty sad. Yeah. Right now you have McKinnon feeding Kachuk. That, right. That's not bad. <laughs> right, Cole? Who, who, who is to the wing of Leon Dreisaitl for you? Yeah, you know, Matthew Kachuk also fit my scheme. I'm going the more skilled but physical route. I, I, I'm like Heath. I almost did Mitch Marner because I think points per dollar – uh, he would give you a good value, but he's a small dude. I'm going for that physical team. Um, so dry sidle feeding can chuck on the right wing is going to be the way to go. I love it. I love it, guys. What you got? You couldn't be more right. It's Matthew Kachuk. Okay, look. That was an easy buy. It was. And and I'll tell you why. Pasta not, I almost went with pasta because pasta is also so good all the way around. Uh Kucherov is is probably overpriced. People will say that he's worth that. I just think that he's he's getting older, probably not worth the $4 anymore. And Kachuk has the skill. And to me, it's the energy he brings to the table, right? What I really should do is plug these into a simulation on NHL yeah. 23 and see which team wins. That would be solid. Um, maybe, may, maybe we'll do that. Like, if this video gets, like, 10 <laughs> likes, <laughs> we'll, we'll <laughs> plug it into a simulation and let you guys see it. Um, so, so go smash like that the like button. Yeah, <laughs> smash the like button. We need to get the algorithm working. Um, but I think Kachuk is the guy that I wanted to see they are on my team as well. Uh, he just is the total package. Heath, let's move on. Left wing. Right now, you have Nathan McKinnon, Matthew Kachuk. Who is your guy on the left side? All right. So I figured I can kind of, I can, I'm, this is where I start really have to think about monetary value. Right. <laughs> um, I ended up going with Philip Forsberg. Whoa. I figured that he doesn't, he gives me, he can give me about the same. What I wanted, I was originally picking Robertson, but then I was like, man, I could probably get almost the same output out of Forsberg for cheaper. So I went with Forsberg to save up a little bit more for the defensive side. Wow. Guys, I, I, I did the same thing. What? 
I'm not even lying. Are you for real? You guys are I, such homers. <laughs> I have I have my notes right here of who I took. Yeah. And I have Phil at my left wing. And here's why. Is he's physical, which is what I was looking for on my top line. My top line is going to just go out and kill people and score goals. Um, and dollar for dollar, I don't like Brady Kachuk. If it was between Ben McGreevy or Brady Kachuk on my beer league team, I'm not taking Brady Kachuk. <laughs> I I can't stand him. So he was out of the question. I can't afford Caprizov. off. Wow. Um, I would love to have him. Great hair. Just couldn't make it work. Phil has the mustache. I feel like if you put him on the line with Kachuk and Dreisaitl, he's going to have way more performance than he has in his entire Nashville career just because he's going to be among other superstars. So, I mean, why not? Wow. That is that is bizarre that you guys went Forsberg. That was like – that is. I, I wanted to laugh really loud when he said it because I'm like, we were thinking the same that, thing. That is incredible. I, I, of course, went with the correct choice here – and Jason Robertson. Um, that guy is a bona fide superstar. He is legitimately one of the best players in the NHL. He shows up almost every single night. He does everything you want him to do. Um, to me, Jason Robertson is the guy. I think that that this is an easy pickup for me. Um, and, and it wasn't really a question, especially since I went with such a cheap center. So I felt like going with Matthews and Kachuk, I could go with a cheaper player or or a uh, a player that was a dollar more than Philip Forsberg. Guys, the cheapest pl- you guys are cheap. Um, all right, so let's let's do a dollar count right now. Right now, Heath has spent four dollars on McKinnon. He spent three dollars on Kachuk and one dollar on Forsberg. He's at eight bucks. Cole, you're at I'm at seven seven dollars. And Ben McGreevy over here is is sitting at 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 seven dollars as well. Correct. So yep. we all have for our final, uh, we have eight bucks left, which means that all of us, this is interesting, saved some, maybe some bigger dollar players, or at least uh, something like that for later in the defensive side or the goaltending side. Let's go ahead and go with our defenseman, Heath, who is playing on the right side defensively for you. This is where he I went, start. He went Dougie Hamilton. False. Um, I did not skimp out on my defense. I went two dollars and I went with Yossi. That's, That's your wrong one. defense. But oh, so, or did I? Oh, yeah. I read those backwards. Uh, okay, so we'll just go sheet. left defense right yeah, now. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that first. Roman Yossi. That's that's an interesting pick. Tell me about why you chose Roman Yossi. You're okay, building was, the Nashville I, Predators right now. I was running out of money. I was running out of money and. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't want – well, I'm not going to say I picked the goaltender. Um, yeah, I just was starting to run out of money. I was like, well, well, see, this is where I decided to change over to Forsberg. I had Robertson, and then I didn't really want Shabbat, so I went with Yossi, figured I could get a little bit better bang for my buck. So I spent the $2 there, and yeah. Cole, did you also go with Roman Yossi? Let me tell you why I went with Roman Yossi. Because <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. So I picked all three of my forwards. I picked center, picked right wing, picked left wing. I didn't even touch defense. I went straight to goaltender, and I was like, I want to go ahead and pick my goaltender, and then whatever money I have left, I'm going to associate it with defense because defense isn't important. That's a joke. Um, So I I did go with Roman Yossi with my $2, uh, bringing me up to nine whole dollars for for this. And, you know, he's – been a Norris Trophy guy before. He's been a top three Norris candidate before. And for $2, and I'm a Nashville Predators homer, bang for buck, we're going to take Yost. Come on. Yeah, same here. Uh, I I am, of course, going to go with Roman Yossi. It's, to me, here's the weird thing, is I think the hockey world would tell you that Haskin and Hedman and Dahlien are all better than Roman Yossi. I don't know that I agree with that. Um, I wouldn't put Victor when I saw you put Victor Hedman at four dollars. I was like, I ain't taking it. And and I did build this, but it was definitely more based on a like what other people were gonna say. I went and read some articles of where yeah. guys rank, and uh, and I just I think that Yossi is too good of a player. Um, you guys legitimately have six guys 
And right now, out of the four we've chosen, you have taken two Nashville Predators players, which is pretty funny in all actuality. Um, but I think Yossi was the right pick here for that left defense. Let's go right defense. Uh, let's see. Right now, we've all been pretty cheap, except for Heath going with that Nathan McKinnon pick. Let's see if things change here. Heath, uh, do you have an expensive player on your right D? Well, since I wrote this down wrong, let me, let me just dissect what I chose to write down. McAvoy is interesting yeah so wait a minute how much money does that that puts you at 14 or something i don't remember interesting okay i don't think it's i think it's we'll we'll see how much money you have left you went mcavoy why'd you choose mcavoy i like the style he play brings i think he can work well with the oc and he can do what he needs to do but he, he gives a good breakout too for the speed i have up front so i figured it works out pretty well and i'm not spending for the two dollars i figured hey I might as well spend it. I have it. I'm going to go through the awful cap situation and just deal with it. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a really good pick. Cole, who'd you go with? Uh, yeah, I went with Eric Carlson. Ah, uh-huh, interesting. Yeah. I, I have always huh. wanted a Carlson Yossi pairing. So my dreams are coming true in my, in my fantasy $15 draft. You just <clears throat> tortured your goaltender. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Using two well, Yossi's a pretty good defender. Carl two offensive wingmen or two yeah. offensive demon. Yeah. That's that is that is brutal there. Uh but Carlson can put up the points. He has the history. Uh that's he's right. now Pittsburgh Penguin, by the way. Uh that's that's pretty solid. So I essentially have five forwards. You <laughs> would it work in a game? Who knows? Hey, if I, we put up ten goals a game, who cares? That is valid. Unless they put up as well. Trash. Uh, yeah. so so here is what I did on this one. I went with Kale McCarr, which Ooh, big spender is a big wow. that's a big dollar number there. But yeah. you got to remember, I went cheap on center. I went cheap on left wing. I went cheap on uh, middle of the road on right wing, and I went cheap on left defense. Um. And so what I did was I sat there and I actually based my entire team around this pick because to me, Kale McCarr is the biggest game changer of everyone who is an option on this list. It, he is so good in every single way. And to me, if I throw Kale McCarr, he's good defensively. He's good offensively. He's good uh, as a leader. He's good everywhere. I wanted to spend the money on Kale McCarr. I think he was worth it. And I think that that he is the reason why my team is the best of the three of us, for sure. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe do you guys think that's a crazy pick or no? I don't I don't think I it's mean, a crazy I think pick. building building your lineup around him is fine. I think it's really good. If that's what you want to do, Ben, but, then we'll let the NHL twenty three simulation speak for itself. I don't have the money for likes. That. If we oh. get 10 likes, that's yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Let's move to goaltender Heath Green, the goaltender himself. Who did we you have already to pick? know? We already know. <laughs> did you really do this? I did. Um, look, this is the middle of the road. $3. UC Soros. You know what you're getting. I feel like you're solid. at $18. No, I'm at 15 Are you cheating? Dot. Uh, okay. I have a discount coupon, actually. It's called a. Uh, you're gonna use your season ticket holder discount. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, it. yeah. Um, no, but Saros, he comes in at number th- at three bucks. I mean, that puts me out of zero dollars of cap space. But I figured I'm not really. I'm. I think I'm getting less if I choose to go down to two. Obviously, and in my opinion, I mean, for the time Vasilevsky's been in this league, granted Vasilevsky's been better. Okay, but I think I can get the same amount of production out of Soros and just use up my last three dollars and still be pretty comfortable in that I don't think that that is a bad pick at all but I would love to see uh what Cole has to say about this he you just chose three Nashville Predators players look to be fair I was picking Robertson but I had to make some weird cap situation decisions wow yeah, and to be fair, I did the I same think... thing. What? And I <laughs> I had $3 left, 
and I was like, okay, so between Freddie Anderson, who chokes in playoffs, yeah, between exactly. Jacob Markstrom and UC Soros, like, why am I not going to take Soros? Like, tell me why I should not take UC Soros. Yes, I built this roster with half of the National Predators, <laughs> but this team, Soros stops putts. He's elusive. He's quick. That makes up for my defense that's not really great at defense, but they score goals. So I needed him there. It was it's, I, mean, I really wanted – to find a way to get Vasilevsky, but I did not have another dollar to spend, and I didn't I mean, want to sacrifice any of my other positions. You, you know, Ben's complaining about me picking basically half my team being Nashville Predators, but at least I didn't pick Carlson. That's – Okay. You know, Rude. that that is – that is valid. <laughs> Your guys' teams are super similar outside of a few players here. Uh, here's the thing. I only have $1 left. And so with my $1, I only have one player left that's available. It's Freddie Anderson. Uh, and yes, I might have not saved a beast of a goaltender for last. But here's the deal. I have an incredible defensive lineup with Matthews, with Kachuk, with Robertson, with Yossi, with Kale McCarr. And so honestly, I don't know that I really needed a beast of a player to be in that goaltending position. Honestly, Freddie Anderson will get the job done. He's a good player if he can stay healthy, but this isn't about health. This is about which team today that's healthy wins the games. And so for me, that's why I'm going with Freddie Anderson. I, th I think he's just the guy who gets the job done. Fair, fair yeah. assumption there. Yeah. All right. Do you guys, after thinking about this, still think that your team would beat the other teams? Yes, 100%. And I didn't take, out of all this, I'll note, I didn't take a 4 or a $5 player. That is interesting. So I think so. I went middle of the road pretty much on everything except one $2 pick. So, um, but yes, I, I do think that my team would outperform your, your guys' teams. There's only one I, I way think... to find out. I think so, but I think I'd make a couple. Part of me wants to make a couple changes. No, you can't do that. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I know you. You are questioning. Your, you should have questioned yourself before we decided. Well, see, I was already questioning this before I even started. <laughs> That's how you get fired if you're a GM because you well, make decisions and then question them. If you had the chance to make one change, you can change two players around. Who would you want instead? I think I'd flip Philip, go to Robertson, and then take McAvoy out and go to Hamilton. Interesting. Interesting. Well, too bad that that doesn't count. You too bad already... I decided to erase that when I typed it in earlier. You already made your team. Guys, this was fun. For those who are watching, comment down below who you think would win. Hit the like button if you want to see whose team would win on NHL 23. Uh, tell us uh, what your picks would be. We want to hear them. But thank you again for watching this video. If you don't mind hitting the subscribe button, if you enjoyed this, share it with a friend. Let them make fun of us as well. And we would thoroughly enjoy getting mocked all through the YouTube universe. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next video. Later.